What I thought was interesting was um, to put maybe what I would call difficult people and difficult relationships into a beautiful setting. She's here. The setting was non-specific and so you didn't associate fairly complex kind of dysfunctional kind of relationships with the obvious urban settings. I wanted to make it kind of classless and, um, yeah, and, and placeless, really. Julian's journey is a battle with whether she's going to put her life first or her sister's life first. It's following Julian's logic behind that. She has to, you know, she's quite a force to be reckoned with, Emily, and, and Julian has kind of got this codependent relationship with her where she believes that if she goes off and does her own thing that Emily's sort of mental health will deteriorate. Come on Emily, let's go. Don't, don't walk away. Get off me. Don't give her what she wants. This is what I want. Emily's what set her up to believe that she can't cope without her. You fucking bet. You fucking mad bet. Kev is the catalyst to the changes that Gillian needs to make. He's right. He's somebody that isn't really afraid too much about things, and Gillian is very afraid. <laughs> he also makes her kind of get in touch with her feelings a bit more. Sure. What? Yeah, fruit needs love to thrive. And when I was describing him in the auditions, I was saying that there was two sides to Kev. The kind of perceptive, honest side was what um, what made him so a uh, sort of understanding of Gillian. Um, and the self-destructive side is what he had in common with Emily. Fuck! You want to hurt me? But he's un fundamentally maybe a bit weak <laughs> um, and a bit flawed, and um, that's the other realisation that Gillian has to have, I suppose.